Hello and welcome to chapter 15 performing database backups. In this chapter we are going to discuss understanding backup terminologies using recovery manager Arman, configuring backup settings, creating a backup and lasting managing backups. Before changing backup settings and before taking backups first thing we have to understand some of the backup terminologies. Your database backup strategy can be either whole backup or partial backup. Whole backup means the entire database, taking all database files part of the database plus at least one control file and SP file. This is mean by whole backup, SP file, control file and all database files part of your database. Partial backup means portion of the database, like for example, taking specific table space or some data files or specific table spaces or taking the control file backup or taking archive logs this is called partial backup when you take a backup of your database the backup type can be either full backup or incremental backup full backup means take a backup of each data block that contains data within the file that's been backed up this is mean by full backup incremental backup there are two types of incremental backups, either incremental level zero or incremental level one. Incremental level zero backup is same as a full backup, but the difference between zero and full backup, in level zero, you can build incremental level one on top of it. While if you take a full backup of your database, you cannot take an incremental level one on top of a full backup. You have to take a first, incremental level zero and then after taking incremental level zero backup you can build incremental level one backups this is the difference between level zero or full backup incremental level one during the backup the blocks that have been changed since a previous incremental backup this is mean by incremental level one there are two types either cumulative or differential the default if you don't specify the type the default is differential accumulative backup backs up all data blocks that have been changed since the last level zero backup so in level one cumulative the base is incremental level zero all blocks that have changed since the last incremental level zero backup will be taken in incremental level one cumulative so the base of the cumulative is level zero while in differential backup the base of differential backup is, is an incremental backup, either level 0 or level 1. This is mean by differential backup. For example, if you have a backup around 9 a.m. and the backup type is incremental level 0, around 12 p.m. you take incremental 1 differential. Differential incremental 1. Differential incremental 1 will take all blocks changed since incremental level zero so any block changed since incremental level zero till the time of the backup will be taking incremental level differential if you take a backup at 1 pm incremental one cumulative in cumulative the base of the cumulative will be incremental level zero so all blocks change since incremental level zero till the time of the backup will be taken during incremental level one cumulative so all changes from 9 till 1 pm will be taken during taking an uh, incremental level one cumulative this is the difference between incremental level one differential or cumulative if you take uh, again a backup at 2 pm incremental level one differential again differential the base of the differential will be incremental backup either incremental level zero or incremental one cumulative or differential in this case he will return to the incremental level one cumulative taken at around 1 pm so all changes since 1 pm till 2 pm will be taken during incremental level one differential backup Backup modes, taking a backup of your database can be either cold backup or hot backup. Cold backup means taking the backup of your database while database in mount state or while the database files closed. This is also called consistent backup or offline backup. 
Hot backup means taking the backup of database while the database is up and running. This is also called inconsistent or online backup. Hot backup is only valid if your database is in an archive mode. If your database is not configured to be in archive mode, you cannot take a hot backup or taking a backup while database is up and running or in open state. When you take a backup of your database, you can take a backup stored as image copy or backup stored as a backup set. What's the difference between image copy and backup set? Image copy backup is similar to operating system copy paste. If you have a data file, the data file size, for example, is 10 giga, 10 gigabyte, and this data file contains blocks. The blocks in data files can be either empty or used, contains data. For example, this block contains data, this block contains data, this block contains data, and so on. So taking an image copy of data file, the image copy is similar to operating system copy paste. You will not check if the block has data or does not have a data. So the output of image copy will be exactly the same as the original data file. So this is an image copy. Exactly same number of blocks, exactly the same data in each block. Even the block is empty, during taking image copy of the data file, all the blocks will be taken during backup. Either the block is empty or used. This is called an image copy. Bit by bit. This is an image copy similar to operating system copy paste. You cannot take an image copy. You cannot take an image copy to tape. You cannot take image copy to tape. You cannot take a compressed image copy. Compressed image copy cannot be taken. While in backup set, a backup set is a collection of one or more binary files that contain one or more data files or control files or archives. With backup set, empty blocks are not stored. So empty blocks skipped during taking a backup as backup set. But in image copy, it is bit by bit. If the block contains data or does not contain data, it will be taken during image copy. While in backup set, empty block will be skipped. In backup set, you can take backup to tape and you can also take a compressed backup to reduce the size of the backup taken. So in case, for example, you have three data files, let's assume you have three data files. Each data file contains, contains blocks, used blocks or empty blocks or whatever. Taking a backup as backup set will generate for example one file or two files depends on the size of each data file and depends on some backup settings for example let's assume one file generated during taking backup this file contains only used blocks from all data files taken during the backup while in image copy it is bit by bit copy for image copy the output will be one file for each original file this is file one there is also will be an image copy for this data file. There also will be an image copy for the third data file. So an image copy, the output will be an image copy file per each database file taken during the backup. How to take a backup for your database or for your control file or for your archive logs? There is a tool from Oracle called Arman or Recovery Manager. This is the main tool that be, will be used for taking a backup for your database, for your control files, for server parameter file, or of your archive logs. You can take a backup by using Arman either to tape or to disk. Before learning how to take a backup of your database, you have to learn what's mean by backup settings and where Oracle store the backup settings. While connected to Arman command tool, you can run a command called show all. Show all will show all backup configurations or backup settings. This is called persistent settings. These settings stored in the control file. So any change of any backup settings will be stored in the control file. You can use either Arman to show the settings or you can use if you have a cloud control, you can use also cloud control as a graphical tool to change the Arman settings. Either using Arman tool or using cloud control tool, the result will be the same. 
so if you see here a default 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 this is mean this is the default value in case you don't see a default this mean the value is changed by the end user for example we have configure control file auto backup off as we discussed in the previous chapter there are six recoverability best practice points the first one which is configure fast recovery area configure database in archive mode multiplex control file multiplex read lock files and then configure control file auto backup on and schedule regular backups so how to configure control file auto backup by using this command configure control file auto backup on so it was off if you put on that means you enable the control file auto backup for more information about backup settings you can go to oracle documentation or you can attend backup and recovery training how to create a backup by using rman you can take a backup of your database using rman or using cloud control either using rman or cloud control cloud control behind the scene will submit rman commands so the main tool for taking a backup is by using rman how to connect to rman you can run rman target slash rman should return to you a message similar to this connected to target database orcl for example and this is the database id for your database that you are planning to take a backup for how to take a backup the main command to take a backup is backup so if you want to take a backup for your database you can run backup database so in this command what is the type of the backup is it a full backup or incremental backup is it image copy or backup set the default is backup set the default is also full backup so when you run backup database oracle will return back to the backup settings and will identify the backup type and how the backup will be stored if you don't change any backup settings the default will be full backup and the backup will be stored as backup set plus archive log means take the backup of my database files and the archive logs or you can take for example backup database semicolon without taking backup the archives during taking backup of database so backup database oracle will take a backup for your database files as full backup and the backup will be stored as backup set what is the location of the backup oracle will store the backup in the fast recovery area backup will control file to a trace what's mean by backup control file to trace you can from database express or from sql command take a control file to trace in the oracle database express you can go to storage control files there is a button called backup to trace or from oracle sql you can run alter database backup control file to trace or you can specify a destination for the trace file by using as quotation specify the location and the trace file name what's mean by control file to trace the output file generated from running this command a script contains a sql statement that is needed to recreate the control file in event you lost all control files of your database last thing in this chapter how to manage backups there is a command called list backup to view information about all backups of your database files or your archives or your control files you can use either rman commands or you can use if you have a cloud control to manage the backups from gui interface but in database express you cannot manage your backup you, for example list backup summary list backup summary will give you all backup taking for your database or control file or your archives so this is the key of the backup this is the type of the backup it is a backup set is it is a full backup not incremental status available if it is an x that's mean this is an expired backup it's no longer stored a target destination device either disk for example or tape the completion time of the backup number of pieces in the backup 
number of copies if it is compressed or not compressed the tag of that backup this is an example how to list a backups for your database if you want to list a backups stored as image copy you can do list copy instead of list backup so in this chapter we discuss backup terminologies differentiate between whole backup partial backup differentiate from backup types like full backup incremental level 0 incremental level 1 cumulative and differential differentiate between backup modes hot backup or cold backup and differentiate between image copy or backup set also in this chapter we discuss about rman which is the main tool for taking backup of your database data files archives and control files how to configure backup setting using rman command how to create a backup using a backup command and how to manage backups using list command in the practice we will see how to backup the control file to trace how to configure control file auto backup on and how to create a database backup i hope this video was informative for you and thank you for